If you're ready to experience a perpetual high and a life-changing ecstasy, I'm talking about the kind of ecstasy that gets you lost and satur so saturated in this moment that you feel like it will go on forever. I'm talking about the kind of ecstasy that leaves you in a perpetual state of euphoria. If you're ready to experience that, if you want to begin to discover the secrets to unlock the power of now, in this video, we're going to be talking about the two steps, two steps that you need to begin to step into the now and experience the life you've always wanted. You know, I hear all the time people say, just be present. We just need to be present. Stay in this moment. Uh, I read the book, The Power of Now, and now I really feel good. Well, listen, the bottom line is the vast majority of, of human beings aren't experiencing the ecstasy of this moment like they really can. My name is Silas Valentine. I'm a life artist and self-realization teacher with Ecstasis Culture. Thanks for watching this video. Today, I'm going to be talking about how you can begin to step into the moment and unlock the secrets of the power of now. Just two simple steps that you can do right now in this moment if you want to begin to experience it as brand new. I'm talking about the kind of new where every single moment feels as if it has never happened before. I'm talking about the kind of of ecstasy and the kind of moment, being in the moment, so saturated in the moment that every kiss is as magical as your very first one. I'm talking about being so lost in the moment that every taste of food is as if you have tried it for the first time and it takes you, sweeps you off your feet into this magical place of ecstasy. I'm talking about living in this ecstatic place, but perpetually. See, I've experienced this ecstasy for the last nine years. Since 2010, there's only been a handful of times where I haven't experienced peace, rest, and continual ecstasy or this perpetual euphoric high in my body and mind. And the two most important keys, the two uh, most important steps to just begin to step into the power of now, to really begin to sink into the now in a way that maybe you haven't before is really simple. First of all, you need to begin to recognize you are not your story. Every single person that I talk to that is trying to enter into the now, it's their story or their individual self that they believe that they are that's trying to be present. And the bottom line is you are not this individual self. The individual self that you have believed that you are, this ego, <clears throat> is not you. It is simply the idea of you. It is simply your own concepts of yourself. It's the story that you've believed about yourself, but it is not actually you. You are bigger than the story that you've believed. You actually, when you begin to recognize the power of now, will let go of the story entirely. You'll shed it like an old uh, dirty clothes and you'll begin to step into this moment like never before. You are not your story. The second thing is you are not your thoughts. See, the problem is your story is just thoughts. It's just the concepts of who you are and all the other thoughts that come into your mind. Everybody has thoughts every single day. They're experiencing thousands and even hundreds of thousands of thoughts every single day. Some of these thoughts are very negative. They carry a very negative energy and some of these thoughts carry a very positive energy. If you want to begin to experience the power of now, you, in the now, you only experience that positive energy energy. But as long as you actually believe that you are the mind and that you are the thoughts that are generated by the mind, you'll, you will be up and down because you're going to be uh, moving along with the circumstances. And your mind is just a perceptional instrument. Your mind literally uses your eyes and ears and your five senses to begin to perceive what's going on around you. Within the realm around you, it begins to perceive uh, through sensory perception what's taking place and it produces thoughts based on on those perceptions and then those thoughts actually dictate how you feel. It's, re it's really quite simple. Every emotion that you've ever experienced has been because of a thought. You've not one time felt bad except by a thought that you've had. 
You've not one time felt really good physically, except by a thought that you've had. So when you begin to recognize that you are not the thought, you begin to step into a place of observance. You begin to actually be able to observe those thoughts from a neutral perspective. Not from a perspective of judging the thoughts, these thoughts are bad or these thoughts are good, but just from a neutral perspective, you get to begin to observe those thoughts and part of the thoughts that you wanna to begin to observe is the story. When you begin to think of yourself, what do you think of? Really, what are you thinking of? When you, when you think of who you are, you think, I'm a nice guy. You think, ah, oh, I'm smart, I'm attractive. Or do you think stuff like, I'm stupid, I'm ugly, I'm fat. What do you think of yourself? Every thought that you've ever had about yourself is simply a concept. Do you realize that you, right now, in this very moment, can change that concept? You can change the way that you think about yourself and therefore feel about yourself. And when I say yourself, I'm talking about the avatar. I'm just talking about the body that you're animating right now and the mind that you're animating right now. You can actually change how you think and therefore how you feel about the avatar that you're animating. And when that begins to take place, you begin to have power over your thoughts and therefore power over your story. When you let go of that story, you begin to really recognize the moment that you're in. This moment that you're in is the only moment that's real. Yesterday is literally just an idea and tomorrow is literally just an idea. These are simply ideas. Yesterday is a memory and tomorrow is a projection of yesterday. Of, of yesterday. That's all it is. So when we let go of yesterday and we let go of tomorrow, which again is part of the story, we're just here now. Think about what happens. Frustration leaves. Why does frustration leave? Because when you realize that you're here, and that you can't be anywhere else. You stop getting in a hurry to be somewhere else, so you stop getting frustrated. When you're in a traffic jam, you're no longer frustrated, you're no longer irritated by that traffic jam. You're just accepting the moment as it is, and it actually produces a euphoric high. When somebody around you is not producing or performing the way that you thought that they should, maybe you have an employee that's not producing the way that you thought they should, all of a sudden what you begin to recognize is this, you know what? This moment is all we have. What can I do in their life? How can I help them produce? How can I help them? I can't be anywhere but this moment. So why stress out about a future moment? Why be anxious about a moment that is not? Why be anxious about the bills that are coming up when all that is happening and all that I have need of is present right here, right now? But see, you can't actually begin to realize the now as long as you're hanging on to the story. You won't realize the now. You'll always be judging yourself based on yesterday. And you won't be present now as long as you believe that you're your thoughts because your thoughts and your mind has been trained to always be in yesterday or be in the non-existent tomorrow. It has not yet been trained, and I'd love to teach you how in future videos, but it has not yet been trained how to stay in this moment. So you as the essence that fills the body fills that, animates that avatar, you actually begin to observe those thoughts from a neutral perspective, let go of the story, and in doing this, you'll actually enter into the now more than ever. And what ends up happening is just a simple task like sweeping the floor, or doing the dishes, or changing the baby's diaper, or, 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 or going to the store to get groceries, or sitting in a traffic jam, or even making love to your wife, your husband, your significant other, uh, these things begin to take on a brand new, ecstatic, euphoric feeling. These things begin to take on a whole nature of, them, of their own because I'm no longer sweeping the floor trying to get done, trying to get done as fast as I can. I'm simply enjoying every brush stroke. I'm no longer making love just to get to the orgasm. I'm enjoying every touch, every sensation, every taste, every smell. And I am seeking to bring pleasure in this moment to my lover. You see, this being present, this being in the now impacts every segment, every single part of your existence. So I want you guys today, listen, do these two steps. If you have questions, please comment them below. If you like what you heard today, go ahead and hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to our channel, 
And if you want to go into a deeper dive, simply go to ecstasisinstitute.org for a deeper dive. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play. Thanks for watching, everybody.